Good afternoon, backcountry adventurers. We're here at the Red Rock Mountain Trail. It's just outside of Red Rock on Highway 628. It's looking to be a nice day. It's a little windy, but not too bad. It's about 5.3 kilometers when you do the loop, and if you do the Table Rock extension, it bumps it up to 7.3 kilometers. We're just going to do the loop today, though. Breaking a lot of trail today. A lot of deep snow to go through right now. Getting closer to the first lookout. Okay, so this is the first lookout. We've been going for quite a while, but it took forever because we were breaking through a lot of snow. In the backgrounds, there is Nipigon Bay and Black Bay to check out at this lookout. So we have found the section where it divides towards the two other lookouts. You can, pardon? It's the fork to go to the Red Rock lookout if you wanna go counterclockwise. Or the Paley's Lookout if you want to go clockwise. You have to be careful in some parts of this trail when you're snowshoeing as well. There's a lot of sections where you just randomly fall really deep. I don't know what to do with me. I have to get up now. Yeah, get to the Yeah, I'm videoing the struggle. Look out the poles. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on now. You can do it. I'm going down a slope. You can do it. Then just roll over and put your feet down at the low end of the slope. Get on your knees. Mm. <laughs> That's gonna look so great on video. Watch your back. Yeah, man. This is awesome. <laughs> Woohoo! She's gonna be soaking oh. wet. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. She's used to that. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. Okay, we are coming our way out to the next lookout. This is... Might be a little bit windier up here as soon as I get into the open, so hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> so here we have a view of Red Rock. Everything looks so beautiful. This is more of Nipigon Bay. And Nipigon Bay. And this is the view from Paley's Lookout. See, there's a snowstorm up in the distance. Let's get back in before that dumps on us. Yeah, but you're well within the safe zone. Yeah. And I we're done. Well, we made it. It only took us five hours, but we made it. We had to break trail the whole way. 
there were places where the markers weren't very visible and there were places where it was fairly overgrown but the view from the lookouts was well worth it.